This is Maria. At the age of 15, she was forced to terminate her first pregnancy. A year and a half later, she left her home and went to live with her boyfriend. She's now 18. Maria has been tested and confirmed to be pregnant again. Her boyfriend no longer wants to be part of her life or the life of her baby. Control, betrayal and abuse had characterized this relationship. This time, Maria does not want to make the same mistake. She wants to have this baby. She has nowhere to live and no one to support her. Maria needs a second chance. This is Lucy, who became pregnant at the age of 16. Ashamed, confused and feeling alone, she struggled with the decision to keep her baby. Lucy wished baby Allison had not been born. She rejected her own child. Feelings of guilt and regret drove her to alcoholism. In time, Lucy and her daughter went to church and were reconciled to each other. God gave Lucy a second chance. Lucy eventually married David, the father of her child. They have built a Christian home. David is a youth pastor. Together, they offer women a second chance. Project funds will be used to establish a teen pregnancy center on the Casablanca property. Monies will cover costs for counseling, outfitting the center, food and housing for eight teens at a time, and education on birthing and parenting. When women are desperate and naive, they make bad choices. Often they traffic drugs and get caught. When released after years of incarceration, they are unemployable. They return to criminal activity to provide for their basic needs. Is no Angie way. is from South Africa. Like Naively, she got caught with drugs in her suitcase, planted by her boyfriend. Minimum sentence is eight years. Eight Andrea years came to Ecuador to traffic years. drugs so she could get enough money for her son to have a heart operation. Desperate, she thought trafficking drugs was the only way she could get the money she needed. While in prison, both Angie and Andrea attended a Bible study and found the Lord. Now Angie and Andrea have been released from prison. They need honorable employment. Often, government and foreign embassies do not provide any rehabilitation programs. There is no family support. It is impossible to find employment in a country where poverty and the oppression of women are common. The sewing factory will provide honorable work for women like Angie and Andrea. It will train them with skills in manufacturing and give them a job reference so they are employable. It will create a bridge between prison life and their new life. It will give them a second chance. Project funds will establish the sewing factory. There is a need to expand the building on the Casablanca property, purchase sewing machines, supplies, and other equipment. A sad reality in two-thirds of the world is that women are treated as second-class citizens, and we don't have the rights that um, many of us in Canada and the States can enjoy. And so when I think about the women here in Ecuador, my heart goes out to them. I want to help them. I feel like they have no one to defend them, no one to be on their side to help them. And we are dealing with women in crisis here. We're dealing with women who have made big mistakes and gone to prison for it. And then when they get out of prison, they have no hope, no support system, no way to have a second chance. And in the same way, these girls that are pregnant, you know, they're young and they're looking for love, they're not getting it in their homes, and so they go where they think they're being loved, and all they get is abuse, and many times they end up pregnant. And then what do they do? Their families kick them out, and they live this horrible story and pass it on to their kids. So why should you give? I just think that these girls, these women, they need a second chance. I just think that you're for some girls, their only hope.